Now let's start from the basics. Like how do I hold my sticks? And how do I sit down on the stool? Let's start from the stool. So on the stool, I'm gonna sit down at a height that is comfortable, having my uh, knees that actually are not at our 90 degree angle, but just a the angle here a little wider. So I don't want my, my legs to go with that angle. And I wanna go slightly going forward in the drums. So when my students are sitting just at the pad, I make them sit at the same way, even if there's no drum sit. Imagine that you have your kick pedal here and your hi-hat pedal and your pad or snare drum would be at the center. So everything is centered, everything is in the right place. <clears throat> we are always say to my students, we have to adapt the drums to our body, not adapt, adapt our body to weird drum positions. So how to hold the sticks? Well, first of all, I said that this grip, the purpose of studying this grip is to play relaxed and do movement that the body is already not, knows how to do. So natural movements. We don't want to do movements that are unnatural because that will lead maybe to injure and we will not for sure get fast. It's like having a wheel that's not perfectly round. And when you start to spin at a high speed, it will create a lot of discomfort. It's the same thing here. If we move naturally, we do those natural movements, the body will follow very easily because that's the movements that are natural for him. So how do I start? So I put my, my feet in the right position. I stay with my back straight and I drop my arms on the side of the body. So I, I relax and I focus on relax, relaxing my arms. Then if you're right-handed, you're gonna do this with the right hand. If you're left-handed, you're gonna do this with your left hand. So I'm gonna do it with the right hand. So you just bring up your arm and just drop, relaxed. Now, I'm gonna grab now the stick and insert it in my hand, in my relaxed hand. You see how it stays relaxed. So notice that if I bring my, uh, uh, my wrist, my hand in line with the arm, this is already creating tension. I don't want that because if I drop it, everything is relaxed. So I call this being in like in the swan, the geese, in the duck position, however you want to call it. See, it's like, it's like the neck of a bird here. Okay. <clears throat> so from that relaxed position, I grab my stick and my stick, I'm going to divide it into three. Like imagining that you have one third here and two thirds at the front. Now that after one third is where the fulcrum is going to be. And the fulcrum is going to be between the first knuckle of the middle finger and my thumb like this. Then I'm going to hover, cover the, the stick with my fingers and my index finger is going to be on the side because this in the future will allow me to have an open grip and allow the rebound of the stick. For now, it's sufficient to keep it on the side. And I want to see a little hole here. Now, if you forget the position, you can reset everything with this the stick there and you just drop. And the stick has to, you have to aim for the center of the, of the pad considering that you have the distance of the forearm plus the distance of the stick. Don't have the snare that's too tight. Actually, I could push it a little further here. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes I have students that come and they used to playing with the snare that's tucked into the, to the, to the belly and that pushes them into an uncomfortable position, a natural position, which is this. Now we want to be with our arm following our body. And so you have to consider the forearm and the distance of the stick. And the stick has to arrive at the center of the pad. From that position, we're going to start and use just our wrist for the beginning. And we're going to do downstrokes. What do I mean with a downstroke? A downstroke is a stroke that starts from 90 degree 
and goes down, hits the pad or the drum, and then you stop the stick at about just like an inch from the from the pad. Now we have to learn at the beginning to control the stick and control our wrist. Now what I, I say to the students is to try first with one hand, so we make them like start with a strong hand. And make sure they're doing always the same movement and they get in always the same sound because if I hit the sticks, hit the pad, sorry, in different positions, I get a different sound. So if you do a steady motion, produces a steady groove, means is the same. Okay, so once you've practiced with one hand, you can add the other hand and you can make sure you start him from the same height. So not like this, but you want even movement. And with this exercise, usually the first page they give is like quarter notes, eight notes, and we, we start to learn the, the, the subdivisions. Okay, I hope this video has been useful to you. I ask you if you would invite your students, you would invite people who are interested in the drumming so we can grow as a community. I thank you so much for your time. God bless you. Bye bye.